right, this video is going to show you how to create a space in School AI. As a reminder, there are you could you could actually utilize spaces that are already created by using the Discover button, but the Create button allows you to create your own personalized learning space for your classroom. So when I hit clear, Create a Space, it'll give me these areas here. So Title, AI Prompt, and Standards, I would say, are the most important areas you want to utilize. This is going to determine your overall prompt and construct your space for your classroom personalized experience with your kids. So here is most important. So the title is whatever you want it to be. Really, it's going to let you know what what that is. But essentially, the prompt is most important. So I'm going to fill in this information based off of a fourth grade standard that students are doing, um, and then I am going to add a standard, and then I'm going to show you a few other things. All right. So I just added the standard as my title. I could probably make it a little more fun, but I just went with that. And then here in the prompt, I pretty much said I want this for fourth grade, so I'm very targeted based off of a grade and ability, and ability level. I use the objectives that we had from this standard that it's on uh, our school district for this grade level. So I threw in some objectives of what would be a desired outcome, as well as I looked for the standard that matched this, and that would help kind of construct this uh, space for me. Now here I could have more information, but that's you got to get the understanding here. Um, and then here is this optional details. This is kind of nice. Hit generate all fields. It's going to make your cover image for you. It's going to look very AI-ish, but it's a little bit more interesting to look at. It's going to give you a sub a subtitle, a teacher description. Let me generate with AI. Maybe I didn't do it this time. And then uh, teacher description as well as student description. You could change however you want. Essentially, what this is just giving you a teacher understanding of what this looks like in your in your spaces. But also, this is what your students will see as kind of directions. So this is also helpful for you to be able to uh, personalize this yourself instead of AI generate it for you, but it's to your benefit here. Um, and then last but not least, if you want to see how it looks, you just hit the start preview button. This is what our kids would see when they experience it. So it's going to give them an understanding of what's happening here. You could speak it to them if you want, and then you reply back and you could test this out and see how it works. So I'm going to hit save for right now. It's going to save that space and this is what that space looks like, which is all great. It's going to go into a reviewing phase because School AI is not going to accept everything that is automatically just created, which is good for you and your students. All right, then here, just as a reminder for a few things to be aware of, you could add this to your favorites if you use it quite often. You could share this space, so you could send this direct link to anybody else who would like to utilize it. You could always edit your space because you probably want to continue working towards a space that works the best for you and your kids. And then you could remix it, which essentially is just taking it and just kind of changing it up a little bit or delete it if you'd like. Now, where are those spaces? You could create all this stuff and you want to go back to it and you're like, where did it go? They're on your uh, launch pad, it'll say My Creations, and then here are all the spaces that you have created and you're ready to go utilizing School AI spaces that you have made for you and your kids.